So someone wrote to me to say that they were concerned about the state of the world, about the state of humanity, spiritually. And they said that in their view, humanity was becoming more materialistic, more consumeristic. Uh, people were tending just to think about, you know, getting a big house, getting a good job, becoming wealthy. And they were losing their desire to find things like uh, peace and love and truth. So moving in a sort of downwards direction in terms of human evolution. And the reason they were writing to me about it was because they'd heard that I think otherwise. So what's the truth about it? Or what's the whole situation in my view? And I would say that they're right, but only partially right. As I see it, there's kind of two movements happening in the world today. And certainly many people are moving in a very materialistic direction. Many people are becoming much more interested only in money, in objects, in what they can acquire, what they can accumulate, and in satisfying personal desires. But at the same time, there's another movement happening in the world. And it's happening among a smaller group of people. But there is a certain movement among a certain sector of the population, which is towards very strongly increased spirituality. And you can see this in the world. You know, if you just look at a, a town in Europe 30 years ago, if you wanted to learn meditation, it would have been almost impossible. Nobody was teaching meditation in Europe. These days, there are dozens of meditation classes in every town in Europe. So it's that's just changed in the last 30 years. And then there's the internet on top of that. You know, 30 years ago there was no internet. It was very hard for people to learn spiritual practices and to learn anything about spirituality. They would practically have to go to their local monastery and talk to a monk or a nun. Uh, these days at a click of a button, people can learn about almost any spiritual tradition in the world and learn many spiritual practices. So there is a certain group in society that's making use of this and are devoting themselves very intensely to their spiritual progress. So these two things are happening at the same time. One is the the general mass of society becoming materialistic, becoming consumeristic, and then a certain sector becoming very spiritual, very spiritually oriented. And personally, I believe that the future of humanity is going to depend on how these two forces progress. Will one become dominant over the other? If the people who are devoting themselves to spiritual practice, if that group becomes stronger and becomes larger, it will have a certain contagion, it will have a certain effect on the rest of society that will cause it to continue to expand. There is actually a natural contagion process that happens in society as people start to awaken. Once someone becomes fully ecstatic in their body, that ecstasy then actually starts to affect other people around them. And those other people start to awaken as well. This means that if the number of people in society that are awakening reaches a critical mass, there'll actually be a tipping point. And the tipping point will be that spiritual awakening begins to spread around the world simply by contagion, simply by the fact that people who are already awake 
then cause others to awaken. This fact that when people are awakened spiritually and are experiencing a state of ecstasy, that they then have a natural effect on other people around them, causing them to awaken, this could mean that we're beginning to see the dawning of a new spiritual age on earth. What happens will depend on which force is the strongest. Is the force of materialistic desire stronger or is the force of awakening towards truth stronger? Which one will outweigh the other? And we're not passive in this. We don't just have to sit back and watch to see what happens. We actually play a part in this and it's our actions that will determine the outcome. So we're very much active agents in terms of what happens to humanity.